friends, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this BCHX FM1644 High Hood Locomotive. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, our first step is to take a dark oak stair for the coupler, and we'll attach it up here. Underneath it, we'll put a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then, behind that, down on the rails, we're going to put five polished black stone walls coming across. And then we're going to raise that up so it's a five by three. Actually, we're going to knock out this center one and put a polished black stone block in so it connects with the coupler. Then down here, we're going to put two dark oak trap doors on each side like this. Then open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler here. Swing around in front of it and do a three block tall T-shape of polished black stone block in the center. Then hang a lantern on each side of the second layer. In front of that, another five by three of polished black stone wall coming out to each side of the tracks here. Then we're going to put three oak slabs coming up this gap here for stairs. And same thing on this side, three oak slabs. Next, skip one block forward from this and get a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. In front of it, a three by four of polished black stone block. In front of that, another netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and also into the ends of the wheels down here. Then we're going to fill the top middle three on the second layer with polished black stone block down the length of this truck. We're going to come out three blocks past where the fence gates are. Then we're going to come underneath, put three on bottom, then two on this side, and two on this side. Then on the outside edge, come forward another four, and on this layer. Then bring both layers across this side and square it all in here. Then we're gonna fill the top middle three on this second layer in front of this with a three by four of polished black stone up here. So it comes four blocks forward from that fuel tank. Then swing around in front of it and on the next block down, down on the rails, we're going to get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we'll do a 3x4 of polished black stone block and another set of another right wheels and an end rod axle. Then we'll open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here. And we also need to open them into the ends of the wheels on this end here. Then on the second layer, we'll bring the top middle three with polished black stone down the length of this truck and stop above these fence gates. In front of it, we'll do a five by three of polished black stone walls coming out to each side of the tracks here. Then in front of that, a three block tall T-shape in the center of polished black stone blocks and a lantern on each side of the second layer. In front of that, five polished black stone walls across the bottom. Above it, a polished black stone block in the center, two walls on each side. Then the next layer is the same thing, a block in the center, two walls on each side. Then three oak slabs coming up this gap for stairs, three oak slabs on this side. Take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to the middle second block. Delete the ones we use for placement. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler here. Then two dark oak trap doors on either side of the bottom like that. Now come on the sides of the truck on the polished blackstone here. Put a deep slate polished stair at each side like this and two polished deep slate slabs on the bottom middle. Repeat the process here on this truck, so two slabs in the middle and a stair facing inward at each end. 
And of course, we do the same thing on this side. And one more corner to go. So polish deep slate stair at each end here and here. Two slimes in the center. Then we're gonna come through and put a line of dark oak trap doors across the top and go until it's above the wheel at each end. Do the same thing here. And one more corner to go. A line of dark oak trap doors up here. Then we're gonna come underneath and crouch and we're gonna hang an upside down grindstone in front of each of the wheels. And we need to do the same thing down here. Upside down grindstones in front of these wheels. And then do the other side. Upside down grindstones in front of these wheels here. And one more quarter to go. Grindstones in front of these wheels. Once that's done, come underneath where this big gap is here, and we're gonna skip one block forward from this fuel tank, and we need to get three polished deep slate stairs coming across this way. And then in front of it, three polished deep slate walls. Behind it, three nether brick fences. Then on this side, in this corner right by the fuel tank, hang a bell. Skip a block back, do a crimson button and a player head. Same thing on this side, a crimson button and a skeleton skull. Then behind the fuel tank on the second layer, put a brewing stand on each side. Next, on this third layer up, we're going to fill it in five wide with polished blackstone block end to end. Now we'll swing up to the front end here. And on this front end, we're gonna put a ladder above the coupler. Then on this third block back, we're gonna put three yellow concrete across the middle. Above it, red terracotta on either side, yellow concrete. Then three yellow concrete, red terracotta on either side again with yellow in the middle, and three yellow concrete across the top. We'll repeat it on the third block back here. So three yellow concrete, Red terracotta on each side, yellow in the middle. Three yellow concrete. Red terracotta on each side, yellow in the middle. Yellow concrete across the top. Then we'll come back up front. Here we're gonna put two yellow concrete on each side of the bottom. Then two red terracotta on each side of the bottom. Then on this side, a yellow concrete in a door and a red terracotta here. On this side, two yellow concrete, two red terracotta, then two yellow concrete on each side, red terracottas in the center. So it looks like this. Then, one block back from this on the outside edge of each side, we'll do four red terracotta. Then another four red terracotta on each side. Then above that, four yellow concrete on each side. Above that, red terracotta in each of the four corners and two gray stained glass panes in the gaps on either side. Then we're gonna come in and grab polished black stone stairs and put four outward facing polished black stone stairs on the top of each side above the windows. Fill this top in with red terracotta. Then we'll move down to the back here. And on the bottom of each side, back here, we're gonna put two yellow concrete on each side. Two here, two here. Then switch to red terracotta and run a single layer of red terracotta all the way up each side till it meets up just behind the cap here. Then we'll come back down to this back again. We're gonna do a deep slate tile wall, red terracotta, deep slate tile wall, red terracotta, deep slate tile wall, red terracotta. Copy the pattern over to this side. 
Then on the next layer, we'll do deep slate tile wall on each side, yellow concrete, then walls again, then yellow concrete, then walls again, then yellow concrete. Then, above that, we'll do a full line of red terracotta to the front of this section on each side up here. On top of this, we'll do a row of outward facing deep slate tile stairs on either side of it. Then deep slate tile blocks up the center. Then we'll come up here and we're gonna do another full layer of red terracotta all the way down each side here. Same thing on this side. Then starting from the back, We'll do a full row of yellow concrete up each side, up to the cab, except on this side we're going to put a door right here. Then we'll do another full row of red terracotta down each side here. Then another layer of red terracotta on top and bring it three across so the whole top's filled in. And bring that right up to the back of the cap here. Just like that. Now we'll come up on this side on the front here. We need to do two yellow concrete in this corner, then a red terracotta in front of the door. Behind here, do six red terracotta coming back. Then on this side, six red terracotta coming back, and one in this corner to get up to the door. Then on this side, we're gonna close a trap door on the side right here for the brake wheel. Then two yellow concrete right here. Then up on the top here, we need to put a crimson fence gate for the horn, but actually make it going sideways like this, so it sticks forward. Next, we're gonna use some ladders for vent detail here. So behind this door, leave two blocks of space. And we're gonna do two columns of two ladders. Then this end one comes up one, and then over one on top. Repeat it over here, so skip three behind the cab. And we put two columns, and then the end one comes up one, and over one like that. Then come right here put one ladder on the top side right in front of the stairs on each side. Then one ladder down here under the yellow stripe, one block forward from that on each side. Then on this polished blackstone layer on the side, we're gonna go end to end on both sides of the locomotive with oak signs. Now we'll do our railing, so right here, with oak fence, come up a total of five. And then back until it connects with the cab. Then here, we're gonna come up four. Here, we're gonna come up four. Here, we're gonna come up five. Then back one, up one, back two. Then swing down to the back. Here we're gonna come up four. And then right here come up four. Same thing on this side. Right here come up four. Right here come up four. Then switch to a crimson fence. Come across this back end with crimson. Then connect it up right here and start bringing it forward. When you get right here, come up one, and then start coming forward again. Then right here, up one, over two. Then across here with Crimson Fence on the front. Then come down to the back, connect it up right here, and start bringing it forward. 
right here come up one and then over until it connects with the cap on this side. Then on the side of the cap here, under the yellow stripe, we're going to put a crimson sign on the side here. And we're going to type BHC. Then another sign next to it with 1000. Then we're going to hit those signs with yellow dye and a glowing sack. We'll do the same thing on this side. So a crimson sign, BHC, and another sign with a thousand. Hit them with yellow dye and a glowing sack. Then we're going to come on the top of the front, put a glow item frame with glowstone in the center. Then on either side of it, a spruce sign with 1000. Hit those signs with white dye and a glowing sack. Then under each sign, put a skeleton skull. We're gonna do the same thing at the rear end here. So a sign on each side of the top with a skeleton skull under it and put a thousand on each of the signs. Hit the signs with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then in the top center, a glow item frame with glowstone. Then on top of the back here, three polished black stone slabs across here. Then a row of deep slate tile slabs up the center. Then we're gonna fill the whole rest of the top, three wide, with polished black stone slabs. And we're gonna bring it all the way forward. Right past the cab, and right to the front here. Now, come on top of the back, in the center, two blocks forward from the deep slate tile. Knock out the center and put in a smoker for an exhaust. Then on the front, three black carpet across here, and then one on each of these stairs. Same thing on this side. Come behind the cab, black carpet across here, and run black carpet all the way down here. Then three across the back porch, and start right here, bring black carpet forward up this side. Then up here, and on this stair. Now we'll do the interior, so come inside with smooth stone slabs. We'll put slabs at the level of this door here and fill this whole floor in with the slabs. One in that back middle as well. Up here, do a full column of slabs in that hole. Right here, a double slab for a control stand. And we'll put three levers on it. Up here, a glow item frame with a compass. Turn around, put a stair on each side for seats. Back here, a blast furnace and a glowstone to light it. And now, the interior is done. Now we need to make a banner, so come into a loom with a red banner and gray dye. Make the top half gray, switch to red dye, put a red border around it. Switch to yellow dye, make the bottom half yellow. And these prefer the cab windows. So we're gonna put one here, one on the back, and same thing on this side, one here, one here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our BCHX FM 1644 locomotive. I hope you enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.